Hey YouTube, it's LDS Reliance. It's been a while since I posted a video, so I thought I'd uh, show um, a little bit of a review on this uh, this nice little product. Uh, this is a uh, Xantrex uh, inverter. Um, it's the ProWatt SW600, uh, 600 watt inverter. Um, sorry for the uh, mess. This is it's installed, but it's it's not too pretty right now. I'm just kind of using it. Um, until I can build kind of a cabinet around this. But uh, basically, I've got my solar uh, coming in here from my panels out in the shed. Comes inside the house, um, through the wall, into here. And I've just got a little um, load center rigged up just so I can uh, flip a breaker and uh, for protection, just for safety purposes. And then we come into the inverter. now. On top, if you can see that, um, it'll show the voltage and uh, and some other uh, information. Um, there's quite a few things you can do with this, but uh, basically, for for most people, you're just going to run it um, to power your your AC devices uh, to convert the the 12 volt um, into usable AC household power. So here I've got a. Uh, a power strip connected um, to the inverter. Right now there's no load on it pretty much. Uh, actually I've got one laptop charging off of this. But uh, you know we use this to, to charge all of our phones, our you know, laptops and various um, you know, rechargeable uh, batteries, a, a AA, stuff like that. I also have some lights here that we can you know turn on to in an emergency um, next to the fire where we would kind of be since it's winter. Anyway, um, I've, I've kind of tested this out pretty well. Um, if I turn all of these on, that's a pretty pretty decent load. I'm sorry, this is going to be upside down. Uh, as you can see, the voltage drops a little bit. Um, it'll still run pretty good um, until about 11.9-ish. 11.5 volts, then it'll there will be a low voltage alarm that'll come on, and then it'll shut itself off. Um, I'm not able to to actually give it um, enough amperage to produce 600 watts yet, but uh, when I, once I get some additional panels, I'll I'll be able to do that. So the, the advantages of this thing, um, for those that are curious about you know maybe ordering this, it's completely quiet. It does have a fan underneath it, but I've honestly never heard it. I've, I've put, you know, right now I've probably got 200 watts worth of lights, um, you know, 90 watts worth of charging laptop, and uh, and it's, you know, not even turning on. I've, I've honestly never heard that thing turn on. It's very quiet. Not like a lot of these other inverters you can you can order most inverters that you order the cheapo ones are going to be just a square wave inverter now this is a true true sine wave inverter meaning that uh, you know the waves will go up and down uh, like they're supposed to like normal grid ac power does and that's that's going to be better for your sensitive electronics like your tv um, and uh, laptops whenever i would charge this laptop with with a cheapo inverter, it would it would make a high pitch whining sound, and it's just not good for for those devices in the long term. So this is a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it. It's very quiet. Excuse me, it's very quiet. Most of those square wave inverters are very loud. The fans are uh, kick on almost all the time, and they're they're very loud. So if you have this like in your house, it will get annoying um, if you have a fan running quite a bit or kicking on and off all day. Um, this one's dead silent. Um, Xantrex is a great brand, very reliable. Um, not too many features really to talk about, but those are the two main benefits: is the true sine wave technology, and uh, and the fact that it's dead quiet. I would recommend this to anyone who is considering a 600 watt uh, inverter. Thanks for watching.